Hello everyone, this is World Cricket Chat's first podcast and we're about to discuss the opening game of the ninth season of the IPL. It begins on Saturday 9th April with Mumbai Indians taking on rising Pune Super Giants. Today, Sunir Chaudhary, the cricket expert, and I, Shruti Chopra, the tarot reader, give our ex- expert perspectives on the game ahead. Will we agree with each other? I guess we're about to find out. Hi, Sunir. Hi, Shruti. How are you? I'm doing well, Sunir. So, Sunir, how do you preview this first opener with, um, let's begin with Mumbai Indians. Shruti, the Mumbai Indians uh, enter the tournament as defending champions. They have won uh, two of their last three uh, IPL titles uh, and that itself will be a conf- confidence booster for them. Uh, what makes them an even more dangerous side is uh, their stickiness, their stodginess. Uh, which was on display last season. They were in a big hole. Uh, they lost the first four games. They won just one of their first six matches before they recovered to bring home the title, staring at uh, the wrong end of the barrel at most uh, times during the tournament. Uh, uh, when we talk about the squad, they have a decent one. Uh, while there were suggestions that they could have uh, done a little better during the IPL auction, one must remember that only 11 players end up playing a game and the depth, the depth of a squad gets tested only when the first 13 or 14 players aren't doing their jobs properly. So in that sense, they do seem to have the kind of personnel who could add to their cause. But we need to see how, how they go about uh, starting off in the tournament, which which will be the, the key for me. So are there any players that we should keep an eye out for? Uh, Shruti, Rohit Sharma did not have a great uh, World T20, but we all know what he's capable of, uh, especially in uh, this white ball cricket. Uh, and he will look to lead from the front as a captain. I'm also looking forward to watching Nathu Singh bowl. Uh, he has been one of the more recent uh, rags to riches uh, stories in uh, Indian cricket. He can bowl quick and has also shown a lot of potential in the little domestic cricket he's played so far. Will he get an early outing? Well, we need to see that, but uh, once he does play, uh, I'll be most interested in watching him bowl. Uh, uh, From your perspective, Shruti, what do the cards say about the Mumbai Indians uh, going into this uh, IPL opener? Well, Sunil, the cards reflect some good teamwork, not just on the field, but also with their strategies. The team management will do a really good job in regroup, regrouping the team to make it quite a fight of this. So I'm, I'm quite happy with them as an overall unit. At the same time, they I think they'll just take an aggressive stance against a new team. But um, I do have two areas of concern, especially for this game. One will be the their bowling during the middle overs. And secondly will be their complacency towards the end of the game. This may add some excitement, but it could make their fans a little nervous. Otherwise, batting will be attacking. It will be classy. I mean, I'll personally enjoy watching it. But overall, it's a good Mumbai Indian side, more because they look to build momentum from the get-go. They don't want to make the same mistakes they did at the start of last year's IPL. What do your expertise say about this new Pune side? Well, on the face of it, uh, the rising Pune Super Giants uh, has a good, solid uh, squad. But there's always that question mark that gets associated with a new team. Uh, it's not only the players, after all, who are playing there, but it's also the environment that gets created, the bond that develops on and off the field uh, with the management, and so on. So, so there are a lot of factors apart from the quality of players as well. We've seen in the past that uh, high-quality teams have not done too well. But the good news for Pune is that they have MS Dhoni leading the way. and That uh, itself is a lot of boxes ticked off. Uh, he has the charisma. He There's a definite sense of him making the younger players Players, the new players comfortable and then there's this ability to back uh, his watts even when things are not going right as uh, which has often bailed him out of trouble uh, bailed his team out of a lot of tough situations so what a lot of us are waiting to see is what will Pune put out as their starting 11 uh, in this first match uh, don't think Dhoni will want to experiment too much but it's always exciting when there's a new team and fans have to spec- speculate about its composition the biggest question for me is whether Dhoni will want to play both Faf Duplessis and Steven Smith, assuming that Kevin Peterson looks almost like a shoe-in to make it uh, to the playing 11, Shruti. Yes, that playing 11 will be quite intriguing. What players interest you? 
uh, apart from the names that I just mentioned, uh, the, uh, the overseas players, uh, there are two Indians uh, whom I would like to have a closer look at this time. Uh, there's all-rounder Irfan Pathan and uh, leg spinner, uh, a rookie leg spinner at that, in fact, in uh, Murugan Ashwin. Pathan's issues over the last few seasons with form and injury have been uh, very well chronicled. He would like to get a look in early in the tournament in the starting eleven. And uh, take it from there. He's probably knocking uh, on the doors of uh, Indian selection if he can uh, do well in this uh, IPL. On the other hand, Murugan Ashwin, uh, as I said, he's a rookie uh, leg spinner, hasn't done too much uh, in domestic cricket in terms of getting a lot of games. But he could add to Dhoni's spin bowling firepower in the absence of his tried and tested lieutenant in uh, Ravindra Jadeja. Whether Dhoni plays Murugan Ashwin or not is a big question because Dhoni likes a lot of control and uh, Murugan Ashwin being a, a wrist spinner might not be able to afford him that that early in the tournament. But if he does play, I'd like to see how he handles him in the tournament, uh, Shruti. Uh, when you talk about the cards, uh, how do they go about uh, when you talk about Pune, uh, about this new Pune side? Well, achieving the right start for any new team is a challenge. But like you've just mentioned, having MS Dhoni certainly ticks a lot of the boxes. His captaincy will go a long way today, but the super giants will have teething issues and may even seem overly defensive when attacking might actually be more beneficial for them. Their batsmen start off quite well, but seem to be stalled towards the end. The same goes for their bowling. It starts off in a balanced fashion, but becomes overly expensive when it matters the most. So I don't feel entirely convinced by this side, but this is a new side. They will manage to come together, especially at Dho- with Dhoni at the helm. Um, who are your favourites for this matchup? Uh, for me, nothing to choose between the two teams and I don't say that because uh, I like to say that for every match. But in this specific case, because this is the first match, we don't know too much about playing 11s, we don't know too much about the squad, uh, about injuries. So I would say they're fairly evenly balanced. But uh, I would like, also like to add that there was that aura that existed around the Chennai Super Kings, uh, which could take its own time to build around the Pune Super Giants as well. So in that sense, Mumbai could take advantage of it and edge Pune aside in, in, in this game especially. So for me, Mumbai might just have that small advantage going into the match. Um, do the, does the tarot differ anything uh, from this? In fact, tarot doesn't. Mumbai Indians holds advantage, absolute tarot advantage for me. They appear more confident and they come together quite nicely, especially in real tight situations. And there will be some of those. Okay, that, that that that's great because so that just means that uh, we both are on the same page, have the same opinion about this first match. So now let's see how the opening game uh, unfolds, Shruti. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this insight from Shruti and me, Sunir Chaudhary. We will be back with more such insights, more such podcasts during the rest of the IPL as well. Keep listening to us. Thank you. <laughs>